Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and in today's class we are going to learn definition and scope of forensic science. In one video we have already covered definition and nature of forensic science. So in this class major focus will be on scope of forensic science. Okay, so let's start today's class. So as we all know that forensic science is application of science to law. It is application, it is application of science to law law or we can say to administer to administer law and it closely works with criminal justice system okay our society has grown more complex. We all know that that our society is keep getting complex and complex and complex. So it has become more dependent or rules of law to regulate the activities of its members. So we all are member of our society. Okay, and our society is getting more complex. So we are clearly dependent on rules so that we can regulate activities of us or we can say its members. So forensic science important here. Forensic science applies. It applies. It means it is applied science. It is applied science because we are applying some knowledge and technology of science we are applying we are here applying our knowledge of science and technology of science to the definition and enforcement of law clear so this is the important introductory definition to forensic science clear so from here we are getting into scope so each year as government finds it increasingly necessary to regulate the activities Okay, so our government thinks that it is really very important, it is necessary to regulate the activities that most intimately influence our daily lives. Okay, that science merges more closely with civil and criminal law. Now, what is civil and criminal law? Civil law is less serious type of uh, crime which get covers under civil laws. Okay, so it includes cases related to uh, property okay land cases property dispute you can say okay divorce cases so these type of cases comes under civil law okay and in criminal law we have murder okay we have kidnapping okay everything comes under criminal law Okay, these are criminal activities. That's why it comes under criminal law. Now we can consider an example here. Laws and agencies. Okay, our laws and agencies related to law that regulate the quality of our food, the nature and potency of drug. Okay, it's just an example. That extent of automobile emission, the kind of fuel oil we burn and purity of our drinking water and pesticide we use on our crops and plants it would be difficult to con it would be difficult to conceive of a food or drug regulation or environment protection act that could be efficiently monitored and enforced without any assistance of scientific technology and the skills of scientific community okay so see here if you want to understand or if you want to know the quality of food and if you want to understand potency of drug, it means how that drug works. And if you, are, if you are having fever and if you are, let's say, having paracetamol. So if you are having, let's say, 100 mg's of paracetamol, it will be not potent because you are adapted to that doses. So you have to eat paracetamol like, like 500 mg's or let's say 200 mg's, which will be more potent. So if you have fever your drug should clear that thing for you that will be a potent drug okay if, if you are having some drug which is not effective in your fever then it will be not potent okay if you want to understand automobile emission the type of fuel and all these things we have just said 
it is really very necessary to use science we need to have assistance from scientific technology or scientific knowledge from scientific community it is impossible to understand all this without science or scientific assistance right so it is really very clear here that we need scientific assistance in forensics or to administer law that's why it is important laws are frequently being broadened and revised to counter the alarming increase in crime rates we all know that in all over the world we have increased criminal activities and crime rates are so high so in response of that public concern law enforcement and agencies have expanded their patrol and investigative functions hoping to stem the rising tide of crime that's the motive here right we want to control the crime that's why we are revising and we are more concerned towards public safety and that's what law enforcement and other agencies related to law enforcement or you can say all the agencies included in criminal justice system is working for at the same time they are looking more to the scientific community to advise and technical support for their efforts so they require scientific assistance in their work right now we have criminal justice system relates to scientific ability to supply accurate and objective information about the events that have occurred at a crime scene right so our criminal justice system is related with justice administration with criminal investigation with law enforcement right a, a good deal of work remains to be done if the full potential of science as applied and criminal as applied to criminal investigation to be realized right so we need to apply all the scientific things to criminal investigation so that we can catch all these perpetrators and we can reduce the crime rates so as we all know that forensic science is applied science and it is the application of science to criminal and civil laws both which is enforced by police agencies in a criminal justice system so forensic science is really very diverse that's why we are saying the diversity of profession which is practicing forensic science is really very vast and here we are summing it up in 11 sections what are those so we have criminalistics and these 11 sections are given by american academy of forensic science that is the largest forensic science organization in the world and the and it is summing and it is and it gives and it gave us the 11 important sections of forensic science so first we have criminalistics then we have digital and multimedia science engineering science a general forensic science jurisprudence odontology pathology or biology or serology okay physical anthropology and biological anthropology as well okay psychiatry and behavioral science question to document and toxicology so these are 11 sections and we have n number of sections and things which can be applied to forensic science and which can be applied to administer law so these are the important sections given by american academy of forensic science and it is about the scope of forensic science everyone so that's it for today's class and in the next class we will cover history and development of forensic science right so stay tuned thank you so much for watching this video have a great day ahead and if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel please do that if you like this video you can click the like button or you can share it with your friends Thank you so much again. See you guys in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye.